Flash Tours. Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us. This is our final night with our star of the month, Susan Hayward. Tonight we're looking at films produced toward the end of Hayward's career. And up next we have the third incarnation of one of the big screen's most lucrative melodramas. From Universal Pictures and producer Ross Hunter in 1961, it's Backstreet. Based on a wildly popular novel by Fanny Hurst, it's the story of two star-crossed lovers seemingly fated to be together while external social forces conspire to keep them apart. In 1932, the couple was played by Irene Dunn and John Bowles. In 1941, it was Charles Boyer and Margaret Sullivan. In the version we're showing, they're played by Susan Hayward and John Gavin. Hayward very nearly did not accept the role. Firstly, an actress as fiercely independent as Hayward was having issues with a script that was shamelessly sentimental. Secondly, Hayward's marriage to businessman Eaton Chalkley was much more important to her than her film career. But something about the movie proved irresistible the perks. Hayward learned that one, her wardrobe would consist of thousands of dollars worth of designer outfits, two, she'd be staying in lavish European apartments, and three, she'd have her husband around to accompany her to breathtaking overseas locations. Well, what do you know, Hayward was sold. Given all that, critics weren't entirely receptive to the movie, but Hayward had the time of her life making it, and it shows. Audiences came out in droves for Hayward's emotionally extravagant performance, making it one of the year's highest grossing films from Universal Pictures in 1961, also with Vera Miles and Charles Drake. Here's Backstreet. 